Okay, so in the last couple of videos, we've talked about how um, acids are acidic or solutions are acidic because they contain hydronium. In this video, we're going to explore how an acid will actually react with water to make hydronium. The same thing with a base. Bases will react with water to make hydroxide. All right, so let's just write out a generic reaction, okay? And we're going to call acid HX here. So HX is our nomenclature that's going to represent an acid, okay? And this acid is dissolved in water, so it's aqueous. And since it's dissolved in water, it has water available to react with, okay? So water and the acid are the two reactants, and when they react together, there's a reaction that occurs that makes hydronium and what we call the conjugate base of the acid. Okay, so this is known as an acid dissociation reaction. Every single acid that gets dissolved in water undergoes this reaction and this is the way in which acids create hydronium, which we know corresponds to a low pH. So the way that acids create an acidic solution is that they dissociate to make hy uh, hydronium, which causes the solution to become acidic. All right. The same thing goes with a base. So with a base, we'll go ahead and say we start off with X minus. This base can react with water. Right, it's dissolved in water, and when it reacts with water, we generate the conjugate acid, and we generate hydroxide. Okay, this is known as a base dissociation reaction. Okay, so every single acid reacts with water to form hydronium, every single base reacts with water to form hydroxide. And the formation of hydroxide means that we're creating a solution that's basic. So we can calculate the pOH from this hydroxide concentration. Okay, and these are the two fundamental equations, the two fundamental chemical reactions that we have to think about every time we're thinking about acid-base chemistry. An acid dissociation reaction and a base dissociation reaction. All right, and over the next several, uh, I guess, videos in this unit, we're going to be exploring these two reactions in a lot more detail. All right, but before we do that, I want to explore a couple terms that I just threw out. All right, so we talk about conjugate acids and bases. Okay, so by conjugate, what we mean is the acid and base pair. Every single acid has a conjugate base. And the only thing, all that means is if we start with our acid, the conjugate base is the molecule that results if we remove a proton. So this acid HX becomes the conjugate base X minus when it undergoes an acid dissociation reaction. Okay, so the conjugate base of HX is X minus. In a similar way, if we start with a base here, X minus, the conjugate acid would be HX. So they're pairs, it's a conjugate acid base pair. We can also think about water as being an acid or a base. So if we look at this reaction, what we see is in this case, water starts off as H2O, and in this acid dissociation reaction, it's accepting a proton. So it is, it is given a hydrogen cation to become hydronium. So at the beginning of the reaction, it's deprotonated. At the end of the reaction in products, it's protonated. So in this case, water is actually a base. It's accepting a proton to become an acid. In our base dissociation reaction, we start off with water. And in this case, we actually remove a proton from water to make hydroxide. So in this reaction, water is serving as the acid. Okay, so when we think about these acid and base dissociation reactions, um, we always have pairs of acids and bases. On the reactant side, I have an acid and I have a base. 
on the product side, I have an acid and I have a base. In my base dissociation reaction, on the reactant side, I have a base and I have an acid. On the product side, I have a base and I have an acid. Okay, everything has a pair. Where you see an acid, you also must see a base. This acid, HX, becomes a base. This base, water, becomes an acid, hydronium. All right, so it's important to recognize that everything comes in pairs. In the next video, we're going to explore this acid dissociation reaction a lot more to help us understand how different acids can give us different pHs.